Hey there, I'm Robin Marie Smith, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through, give you a peek of my 100 Day Project 2024, days 21 through 40, um, stitched collages, and then we're going to use one of those collages in a little project. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So for this 20 days, um, I did a combination of different sizes. Um, these are the smallest that I've done. And, and then I did some that were like double that size. And then each one has found words. It's amazing how different they look when you first prepare them to what they turn out to after you soak them. I learned this technique from my friend Colleen Atara. She teaches this in her sacred um, I think it's Tiny Sacred Journals course. All right, here's a big one. This is a bigger. I like the big ones too. I could see this actually being like, you could completely put this on a cover of a journal if you wanted to. <laughs> I love this one too. I like the words on this one, Charming Corners. But they do. They look also very different. Tranquility of Nature. And I use an assortment of different things on these. It's everything from painted papers, fabrics, old photos. I've even used some negatives from photos. Um, ribbon, magazine and book pages, really everything goes. This one's very fragile. This one, some, lots of lace I found. I like the lace, the way the lace kind of, you can see through it after they're done, after they dry. And they do look quite different after they're dried. So I'm not sure which one I want to use for the tag. I'm going to do a tag, I think, today for this with one of these. So I'm not sure which one, uh, but there is, <laughs> really quick, days 21 through 40. And then next, let's take one of these and let's make a tag with it. All right, so for the first layer, I'm just going to go in with a regular old number two pencil and just add some marks to it. Sometimes this is just the easiest way to get started. Just a regular pencil. And then I'm going to choose, I'm going to use some liquid acrylic inks. I got quite a few different inks here I'm going to use. Um, but I think I'm going to start with start with some coffee first. So I've got some coffee sitting over to the side and just going to use a mug to just put a little bit on there. And I also have, it's just coffee in a like instant coffee. And then I have a brush here with some water. I'm just going to add that to it. And then I'm going to use this one is um, the Daler Rowney. This is Payne's Gray. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that. And this is acrylic ink. And it just has these little droppers that you can squeeze. And then I'm just going to use this brush to kind of move the, move the acrylic around and let it drip. Okay. And I think I'm going to use, this is, uh, that was Payne's Gray. This is Liquitex acrylic ink, fluorescent pink. Um, I just, I use a bunch of different brands. Um, they are, they are quite different depending on what you're looking for, but I actually really love color. <laughs> so if I find a color in a brand that I really like, I'll definitely want to explore that and give it a try. So, and I'm just adding a little bit of water here and letting it drip. All right. I used a heat tool to dry this a little bit. Once I get to a point where I don't want all the colors to be mixing too closely together, I will use a little bit, um, I'll use a heat tool to dry it. So I'm gonna use next, this is um, Worn Lipstick. It's the Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain. And I like this color a lot, um, mixed with some of these other more neutral, this blue and kind of this, um, the coffee color. But it's really, really pretty. So it's kind of a pinkish, a pinkish red, but I just want a little touch of that on there. And it's relatively light, and I just added a little bit of water to that as well. Um, so I got other inks. I've also got distra um, 
alcohol inks. I love to use alcohol inks too when I'm doing this. So I like to use white. White is a great one to use kind of at the end. So I think I'm gonna use one more color on this. And then I will add the white. I'm trying to decide, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a yellow. I've got a yellow here. So I'm thinking maybe just a little bit of yellow. Actually, let's use, this is alcohol ink in a color. This is honeydew. I really like this one. So let's just use a little bit of this. And I think I'm just gonna put a little bit there. And one thing I love about alcohol inks is if you catch them really quick, you can use a little bit of water on them. And you can see this part has dried quite a bit. This one is still a little bit wet. And I'm gonna just dab into it just a little bit because I want that color to be light. I was kind of wanting a little bit more of a yellow, but I think this will work. I mean, it's an orangey yellow. So I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my alcohol ink in white. This is Snowcap. This is a also Tim Holtz Ranger. And this is a nice one to just sort of put some white marks on it. And it's really nice because it really does kind of sit at the top. You can also spray it with water too. I'm going to go ahead and take a heat tool to that and let uh, to dry that quickly. And then we'll go to the next step. Now I'm going to choose one of my 100 day project pieces. I'm not sure which one yet. But I use black thread all throughout. And so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of black to this. So I'm gonna use a Stabilo. This is a Stabilo Marks All in Black. I'm gonna dip it in my water. And <laughs> this is what I like to do with it. So I'm gonna have this heat tool is gonna be on, right? Um, so you're gonna hear it, but what I like to do is dip it in the water and then start to uh, draw into this. And then I will use the heat tool to kind of move it and dry it at the same time. And so I can come in at this point too, if I want, just add in some more pencil marks. It's just great for just a super quick tag that you can send to someone. Um, I even love how the back ends up being kind of messy from the inks and stuff as well. Pick up some of that color there. Yeah. Okay, so now I gotta decide which one of these I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna cut these down. I'm not gonna use them. Obviously, I'm not gonna use this size. So I was thinking one of these two. This one's nice because it's done in the white and it has this little hint of pink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna cut it now and then I can kind of position it how I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I know that I don't want this whole piece, but let's go ahead and cut some of this out. I'm gonna try to leave a few of the little bits of string. I'm gonna cut it down a little lower and then I have some more flexibility with it. If I decide to keep some of it, I can do that as well. All right, so now we've got this little piece here, and that may be the one I go with, because this one, I like this one too, and it has a lot of the color, but I think putting this one on makes more sense because it's got, it's just a little bit more neutral. It has this little hint of the pink there, which I like, and a little bit of black and white, and I just think that one goes very well with it. Um, and I may still take this part off. So let's do that, and then if I decide I wanna keep it on there, I can always add it. I can always glue it on. And I'm just going to use a glue stick to attach. And this still is nice because it still has some nice threads in it. Yeah, I think that one works well. And so now I just need to decide where I want to put it. It doesn't have to go this direction. It can literally go this direction. And I think it actually doesn't look too bad going in that direction. Maybe even over here where we have a nice complement. We hide a little bit of the orange. There's not a whole lot in that piece, but I like it because it gives it a nice, you know, there's like another surprise color there that's not all in this. And then we got the black and white, which I think is cool. This is white. And then that little bit of pink just kind of shows up really nicely there. So I think that is definitely the place to put it. So I'm going to use my glue stick. I love Prit. Prit stick as they call it um my friend claire in the uk got me hooked on these um, brought them to me one christmas and i love them they are so sticky um, i use them for just about everything 
I mean, they're super sticky. And I live in a humid climate, so um, it really works well for me. All right, so there is, we're almost done. See how quickly that came together? And now we just need to put some um, sorry ribbon in there. So now I just gotta decide, do I want something dark? Do I want something to pink? I'm trying to decide if I, I don't know, if I wanna have something in the pink family or if I wanna go with something dark. So I've got these, this is kind of a pink and that could work, it's a lot of pink. Um, I've got this kind of grayish color, which is actually kind of pretty too. But then I also have kind of a more of a black and white, black and white, this one here. It's kind of got a combination of black and white. So I don't know. It's like, I think I like it better than the gray, but then this pink is really pretty, but I really think this is stronger because of the contrast. So I think that's the one we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna cut a piece out and we'll attach it. So we're gonna create a loop here and then we're going to come up from the back through the hole Take those two tails, put it through the loop, and then gently pull. And that sari ribbon, S-A-R-I, most often made of silk. And then that actually really con uh, has a nice contrast, I think. So I think that definitely works. And if you wanna go in and add any other little marks, you can. I'm thinking I might wanna add, I think it does need a little bit. I'm um, gonna see if what pens I have just sitting here. Um, this is an Artenza rollerball pen. Um, point, looks like point 0.3 needle. So it's just a little tiny one. And I'm just, I want it to be ever so slight of the pen. Like, I don't want it to be like so thick that you can, like, I don't want a really wide tip. And maybe even put a little bit on there. That kind of looks cool. And you kind of emulate the stitches a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm not sure I really like that very much, what I did there. Um, sometimes that happens. So I'm going to use this. This is a Carbothello pastel pencil. I'm just going to go over that. Didn't really like that. That little line I did right there was a little too much. So, and the pen is not waterproof, so that's nice. See, that kind of blends it there. Sometimes the thing doesn't that you didn't like actually kind of works out, right? And I really like the coffee a little bit, so let's kind of add a little bit more of that in there. Maybe even with my fingers, that little bit of brown. It needs a little bit more. Maybe even up here. Okay, I can definitely overwork it, but I think that's it. All right, so there we have days 21 through 40 and a quick little tag to go with it.